Oh, hey traders, welcome to the video. Please pause the video and make sure you understand the disclaimer before proceeding. Just taking a look at pound dollar on the, well, actually we'll go out to the daily. I've just marked up this imbalance here, looking at the candle wick high on the left and the candle low on the right there. I really think that this could look to fill this gap heading down into this daily order block. Just marking that up from the high of the wick to the uh, candle body low, that'll do. Uh, ultimately, a, a target for me would be in this this zone around this, this uh, red candle high. But I'll probably look to take profits a little bit early as well. Down to the four hour, just a couple of things about this one. right? So we've got here this order block, four hour order block. Might want to consider possibly that this maybe trades back up looking to retest these levels up here something like that i'd be interested in uh, layering in some uh, some some shorts in through here as well that's what i'm seeing at the moment is the potential for this to trade down looking for these levels down here uh, we've got this red candle down here as well so that would be another target if we break this low here retest and fail i will definitely be looking at this as my next target so, you know, you can set your targets. Uh, well, target one, I mean, I would go for quick money somewhere in here. And then target two, I'd be looking at this daily order block, maybe the high of that somewhere in here, something like that. And then target three would be down in this four hour order block here. That would be the thing for me. Stop loss, probably go above these, these candles, maybe even a little bit higher. Yeah, well, that gives us a... Uh, what do we got? Short. Just looking at this from a risk reward. Not so great. I mean, I'd want a minimum of two to one risk reward. Tight stop losses tend to get taken out. So, yeah, I mean, something like that would be what I'm looking at at the moment. But here's the thing. Let's just take this to another level here. I posted uh, this trade signal into my Discord today. This one went into VIP. We're in this trade. If you want real-time trade signals, guys, join us in VIP. Shop me a hamburger and chips every month and you've got access. That's all it is. Looking at now, target one has been reached. So let me just take this screenshot and send it into my, my guys. And uh, I want to show you how I'm trading this and how you can do the same. Close two-thirds now and trail in the money. Join us. Trading tutorials, an exceptional win rate. The link is below, but let's just get back to business here. Why I took this trade. I've got a simple formula. Let me just show you this. In this indicator here, the trend bars indicator, we've got this section called accumulation distribution. See this? I'll just bump that up so it's over the top obvious. It's picked up this accumulation zone through here. Notice the blue dotted line. Okay, the high and low of this candle. And this tells me that it's an area of interest get ready to short if we trade into this so that's the first signal that alerts me of a trade opportunity i'll just back that off accumulation distribution levels in fact it's actually a, a bullish order block on the four hour i'm looking for the opportunity in here and our alerts go off look at all these trade these you want to absolutely take notice of these these are incredibly high probability alerts let's have a look at the results we're getting with our trade signals so that's the first thing that triggers and i've got a set of rules and my rules are and let's just treat the rest of this video as a tutorial on how to trade the pound dollar here firstly we get a move into the order block that's a signal this is a short opportunity and i'm looking for price to be either trading in or below the cloud this is the cloud here it's below the cloud and then it trades into the cloud i'll just bump up the cloud and show you that okay see how the cloud is engulfing the candles i'm okay to short that if this was trading out of the cloud with the with a green cloud under i wouldn't touch it but given that it's still in this cloud i'm okay to take a short all right so that's the four hour chart giving me an okay now the only thing that i'm not happy with is the trend lines are heading north see see this these dots here project that across look at that 
under the cloud. I mean, this this, this is ideal. Uh, we get these uh, we get these opportunities. That's your short there. This one's a bit more complicated because it's pushed up a little higher. But I'm just going with price action, lower low, lower high on the four hour chart. In here, it's still in the cloud. All right, I'll take it. When you have so many check boxes in your criteria thing, the more the merrier. Okay, so the less you have, the higher the risk. So are you prepared to take that risk or not? So the first thing I'm looking at is the four hour. The four hour stacks up. Well, I mean, I like the candles on the on the daily as well. And of course, all the stuff I talked about on the daily time frame, we've got this imbalance under and this uh, daily order block under here. So it's starting to trade into this imbalance now. That's my next target's down here. Uh, it could pull back and move around. Okay, we've broken through this four hour order block now retest and fail under here and I'm, I'm good you know to leave position in for the journey down anyway we're going to go to the 30 minute chart so the four the daily and the four hour stack up for me the 30 minute ideally what I want to see is well I mean <laughs> this is it picture perfect I mean look at that it's heading down we can see that and it's trading under the cloud on the 30 minute tick at this point here, I'm looking at my higher time frame indicator. I want to see three out of five red, another tick. I'm taking this trade. Oh, before we go there, then see the markup. See the markup through here? The, the orange, this dotted line? Right. Here's the thing. Entry, we go down now to the, the lower time frame. I mean, this is picture perfect. This is what I've been saying in my videos guys and I prefer the three minute chart this is it the four hour order block that was showing uh, on the indicators on the four hour time frame that's the level so what we're looking for is when the price moves into the order block and I've been saying this midline here we've got them marked up on our indicators in blue we want to see this rotation and that's the that's the signal that gets you in that's the alert that goes off in the alerts log it fires you come into the chart look look at our entry here retest of that take it this is precision trading guys it doesn't get any better than this all i can say is join us go to my website buy me lunch once a month take a walk on the wild side invest 1995 I have incredible value to offer and I want people to have what I have. I love sharing this. I'm not going to give it away for free. I'm happy. You give me a little bit back and you have access to insane value. So with that, hope you have a great day. Look forward to seeing you in Discord. <laughs> Carrying on in here. All right. It's a lot of fun. Okay, guys. So I look forward to seeing you in here. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.